All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna uh, I'm gonna show you guys some contracts that I got. At first, this was just gonna be one in Tampa, um, but then also I got two lots under contract, you know, a couple minutes ago um, from some a realtor. So we'll just go over all of them now that we're on this call, and I'll, we'll just make it as, as quick as possible. So let's start with the Tampa one. Um, it's a pretty exciting one. So it's an off-market deal. I'll kind of give you the situation, and I'll run you through the numbers. So it's an off-market deal. He's been in our system since January, Lou. Um, I, looked, I looked at it. He was under a different tab. So basically, he's been in our system since January. He, the comments said he's a dick. He's yeah. been a dick. This and that. He's firm on his number. He had it listed at 350 um, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And um, it's a legal fiveplex. It has five water meters and five electric meters. They're all rented. I already put on the team inventory sheet if you guys want to like kind of follow, follow what I'm saying there. So it's on the team inventory sheet. It's a legal fiveplex, all rented for a total of $4,200. And we got it under contract for two seventy six. dollars um, And some of them are Section 8. I'm going to find out. I already asked them for the leases and all that stuff. But some violations do exist. Um, it's a, he's going to send me the lien search today. It's about um, a window, grass, shit like that. It's, it's nothing. From what he told me, it's nothing too crazy. But obviously, we'll get the lien search and um, you know, see it ourselves. But this guy is an investor, the seller. He's an investor. So, and it's funny because I know somebody from Tampa that knows him. And he said that he's like a pickup truck kind of guy. Like he used to be driving around his rentals and pickup trucks and fixing things himself or whatever. For whatever that's worth, I just want to give you guys the background. But uh, yeah, so anyways, I uh, made him an offer at first at 230. Um, he was stuck at 300, 300. Then I went up to like 250. And then we met at 276. Um, so he came down a little bit. I went up. It has to be with his title company, uh, but it is assignable and we have 10 days inspection. So the only terms that are different on this one is his title company violations, which we will be getting all that. Um, from the title company we have on the contract and the violations I'll be getting hopefully today. But, uh, all right, let me share my screen. Let's jump into it. So I've never used this. Is it the same thing? Do I got to click matrix Lewis on, on the stellar MLS thing? Yeah. Matrix. All right. It should be the same shit. Then uh, okay. So then search. Search and then how are you going to be commercial? Commercial or income? Well, I think more than five units is commercial. No? All right, let me see. Uh, yeah. More than four. And it's, but is it legally five units or it's four? No, it's legally five. So it's Come legally on. commercial? Yeah, sure. This thing is like... Okay. Damn it. No, I don't know why it does that. Um, okay, so let's put here sold. Let's try here and see what happens. Um, let's see here. Why doesn't it have cash here? Probably sell options, I should say. Uh, okay, let's just, well, here it says no results anyways. So yeah, let me try income. So obviously like the comps and retail value is not like the play here. It's more of like a rental type of thing. Um, but I want to see what other things are selling for in this area. This is a kind of shitty area in St. Pete, to be honest. Um, it's up and coming, right? Uh, I mean, it really is. They're building a bunch of shit, but you know, it, it's a shitty area right now, to be honest. So, um, I don't want to, um, dis deceive anybody. However, it is like a, I would consider it probably to like, uh, Maybe like the shitty part of Alapada or something to here. It's kind of like up and coming eventually. Um, it's good at rental, but uh, it's, it's crappy. You know, when I say crappy, it's kind of like, you know, C, D, class. This is nothing really that pops up. Let me go here. <clears throat> I don't have pictures yet. Um, it's in Tampa, so I'm going to figure this out. You get these pictures, but this is the this is the place. It's CBS. 
he had a list so this is like the listing pictures Um, he told me like the, the kitchen and stuff were recently renovated like two years ago. Um, I think the only thing is that he pays water, which is 270 bucks a month. So that's the house. Let's see what's comparable. The problem is there's no house, there's no like five plex like his anywhere. Let me just look for like a four plex or something. Yeah, I'm going to just look around here for, let me see. Let me go here, 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 and like here. Okay, let's go to square feet. Let's go to the biggest ones. 950 square feet, the biggest ones. And his is, uh, ah, it's just 792. Okay, let's see here. Three one, three one, two one, three two, three two. I see the most beds and bath. Nothing. Two buildings. Five full bathrooms, six bedrooms. He did a bunch of things with permits a long time ago when he bought it. I know that. Um, yeah. And um, so it kind of sucks because there's not much like sales or anything we could really go off of. Mm, let me go back more. Did you try maybe to the public to the property appraiser search to do comps? Does it let you? Oh, look, we have here a 500K. Let's see what this is all about here. Let me see what else. Just trying to see like anything that kind of stands off the page here. This was a property details. I don't know what the heck this thing was. <laughs> What is this over here? So who knows what this is? This looks a little funky. But, <clears throat> so the other way to, to analyze it, since there's not really much we can go off in comparables, we can look now in um, the public records, but let's put it here. Um, so let's assume... We sell at 300. I want to see what the uh, investor will. I, I don't know. I think just based on income. So it makes 4,200 per month. So 4,200 times 12 is. Yep. 50,400. Um, obviously it's expenses, but technically by income. At the 1% rule, it's 500K. They'll never sell for 500K because the hood. Imagine like trying to sell a $50,000 income a year property in Liberty City for 500K. It'll never, ever happen. So, but um, I think if you, you know, you, we can get pretty close. Maybe like the ARV, I would say is probably like 330. He couldn't sell at 350. So I can't really say that's the ARV. Maybe like 330. So, and then he says there's not much repairs, but let's put 15K um, there. The taxes, I don't know what they are, but let's put 250, blah, blah, blah. You think and yearly taxes? Oh, is that monthly? Monthly. Why is it 181%? What's going on here? Hold on, hold on. Something's off. Something's off here. One second, please. B75 divided by B76. Total cash needed. Why? And this is 62. 
Why 20,000? And this is B58 of B60. Oh, because this isn't linked anymore. This equals C16 and C16. All right, there. So 11.42% return with management in place um, as it is rented right now. With 10%, um, including taxes, including insurance, um, and including 10% in expenses and management of 95 bucks a month. Um, let's say this goes up a little bit to 7%. That should equal this times this. So 10.6% with even more management return. Um, and that's assuming you put 15K in, which, you know, I don't know. I don't, I, I mean, right now it's rented section eight, so I wouldn't touch much of it. Um, basically, it's just a big rental play, man. This is it here on the inventory sheet, so you guys can see. Um, here it is. So it's got five units, it's three one ones. It has an efficiency and a three one. The breakdown's over here. The three one ones are 800 each. The efficiency is 650 and the three one is 1100. And when I looked, it's pretty much top of the market rents. Like you can't really get much more rent than that. Maybe an extra 50 here and an extra 50 here, but I wouldn't even uh, consider that. He's got it pretty well rented. Um, it's pretty renovated, some of it are section eight and uh, it makes pretty good money.